What's your most cherished item? Well, you know what? Like I, I have very few things from like my own childhood. You know, I've got some movie props, some some kind of recognizable stuff. Let's put it this way. Your house is catching on fire. Give me three things you're grabbing on the way out. You have two kids. Don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> that really limits it. Um, <laughs> oh, and the wife. Right. Yo, okay. Well. So yell at them loudly while you're grabbing your bra. Hey everybody, I'm David Lynham. Welcome to the X5 Podcast. Whoever keeps putting this on my damn car, stop it, all right? <laughs> this I love getting bukkake shit that keeps getting put on my car, stop it. All right, if this is your first time joining us, thank you so much for being with us. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure that you leave a comment for our algorithm on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, buddy, we've got a lot of YouTubers in here today. A lot, yeah. A lot. Um, uh, we've got actually... A tattoo artist over here that obviously is on a heroin binge. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Stephen King. Everybody. What's up, Stephen everybody? King. West Flash. Yeah. Stephen King. Thanks Stephen King. Again. What's the song we have? Oh yeah, yeah. I love it. it. Stephen King. Hey, that was a hit, man. Shout out. The other night I'm at a concert and our buddy Mason showed up. He did. And I said, "Hey, how's the tattoo looking?" So he lifts his shirt up, and this random guy beside us goes. Man, I thought that was a joke. And <laughs> nice. I was like, I looked over, he goes, See, we don't play. That, that's the dude that got it on the show. And I said, Yeah, he goes, I thought y'all were just airbrushing it. And I said, No, that's a legit tattoo. Real, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, would we do a whole episode about an airbrush tattoo? Dude, no. Yeah. Well, no gives us an idea now. Yep. Also with us today is Scott on tape. What's up? We've got all uh, the Scott on tape. That was a good theme song. Yeah. That was it gold. Was, that man. was the one. <laughs> Now, now the pressure's on. I don't remember it either. The but it was good. It's out there somewhere. <laughs> oh, we've got a video. Oh, I've got it. We've got a video. <laughs> it was so great, I don't remember it. It was so awesome, oh, yeah, but I don't was, remember. Guys, I don't remember all the gems I create. Okay? <laughs> I, I remember them like it was yesterday, man. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I just remember ending his with, not the author. <laughs> <laughs> and our special guest today, who... Uh, Looks like he brought a show and tell box over here. It's carrot top, uh, everybody. Like, uh, I brought some props. Top. Prop comic yeah. from the yeah. Totally 80s yeah. uh, YouTube channel. It's Pete, everybody. Is that, it's yeah. actually, hold on one second. It's the Totally 80s Room Instagram. Yeah. Oh, it's Instagram. Uh, yeah. But that's okay. But man. he's got a YouTube channel, too. Yeah, he yeah. does have a YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah. but yeah. We're Instagram. here to promote YouTube, everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's where we need our numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need that. Support. We love it. Yeah, we, we love Stay YouTube. on YouTube. Yeah. Don't go to Instagram. <laughs> Instagram works way better. Though. Yeah. Thanks for hey, joining pull us, that, man. Uh, pull that microphone into your mouth. Sure. Normally, that's how. Normally, oh, what we go. do, you actually talk into a microphone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got yeah. it. Yeah. You're doing no, it. I didn't know if you guys wanted to hear me or not. Come on, Pete. Get your shit. Let's just start over. You call of shit already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Pete, what's up, man? Uh, I can see where this is going. You guys are gonna fucking ha go to town. No <laughs> <laughs> way. This is gonna no, be easy. Man, this is friendly yet. room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're yeah. safe here. You're in a dude. Safe I brought space. some props. What did some, you? So some, what did you bring? Some what do you got, props? Gallagher? Wait, like yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> is there somebody gonna be smashing? What? Hold on, Terry. Can you bring the plastic <laughs> covers for us to wear <laughs> yeah. so we don't get watermelons all over us? I want. I want to know before he shows the props. Yeah, you can hear me. Cock. Yeah, no. The props. <laughs> what's it? What like? What's your What's your page? What is it? Yeah. What's what is you in the eighties? Well, what yeah. is, What's up? Well, who, who hurt you? You know. <laughs> yeah. it's, why, why do you love the eighties so talk much? To you know, talk, why are you stuck in the eighties? You know what it is? It's just it's it's a uh, it's like a love letter to the decade. You know, I love it. Yeah. More than anybody, I think. So the pop culture, the music, the people, the, mm -hmm. the colors, the artwork, the you yeah. name it. The, you know, the music and um. Did I say music already? Yeah. yeah cool. Okay. Music twice. Music, the music is that good. Are like you colors? having a stroke, man? So. Uh, <laughs> You know, so uh, I, I try to celebrate that. I don't want people to forget this yeah. stuff. There's so much good stuff out there. You know, um, I like sharing that with people and just yeah. just uh, great, people man. get an experience out of that stuff. They they ha they remember us old guys, right? Well, we're you all know, about the same age, like 29. Yeah. Like, so many people <laughs> partied so yeah. hard in the 80s. You have to remind them. Yeah. Well, I, 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 visual I, reminders. I, yeah. I grew up during the 80s. I was I was a kid in the 80s, and I just I I 
vividly remember having these, you know, yeah. great childhood. And it was, it was a special time for, for, for eighties kids. And so, so Man, what was, so what was the name of the uncle that touched you? <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It was, uh, well, just... <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a, he's in his house. I can say you bought a museum. An 80s. Uh, exactly. Sure. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so I collect and stuff. That's what's on and, when did that yeah. start? When did the collection start? God, before it was expensive. I can tell you that. Now, <laughs> now it's kind of caught on and like people are buying these, these items. And, uh, but I think I started like 10, 12 years ago. I started collecting yeah. things from like my childhood. It starts, anybody that collects stuff, they know that it starts with like one or two things and then it just goes crazy. So what do you got? What kind of stuff you got? You got something well, better than our gremlin that we have over here in the corner? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the yeah. Rubik's Cube that's twice the size. I got of a couple of those. What's yeah. cool about that gremlin is I actually threw it and hit Corey Feldman in the face with it. Man, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> and they're the, also the same height. Just wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you got to, what's up with the youth? What is I didn't know you had that the youth? I didn't know you had that cooking over there. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie, yeah. Charlie's been waiting to throw that one out yeah. for a long time. <laughs> Finally, I get my gremlin joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank God. Somebody brought the gremlin up. Oh, man. So I can show you. So look, I did bring a few things. I got to show this off oh, real sh quick. Shut up for a second. Sure. So check this out. <laughs> You're so the Pete, boss. Pete is Pete's a, a good friend. He's an awesome fucking guy. So he he knows I too, and all of us love you know '80s memorabilia and stuff. So he brought me an original Night Rider lunchbox. Oh, that's OG. Look at that. That's the original one. It's wow. not a repop. Yeah, and because you know we have a here at X Five, we also have an actual Night Rider car. And so yeah. I thought it was super cool and thoughtful. But yeah, check that, that out. That's awesome. Carrying your old PB and J well, to school in that damn thing back is. in the day. You, you know, you're you're right on the colors, man. The '80s colors, yeah, so yeah. vibrant all yeah. over the board, and yeah. they're making a comeback. Everybody's loving it now. That's the that's the fun part of it, man. Yeah. So it's kind of like yeah, it's like reliving it as an adult too, because it's so much that fashion came back in the in the, mm -hmm. in the colors, and and uh, now we have you know youtube and you can revisit all these movies and you know and it and it really like kind of uh, another generation is kind of you know really taken to to the stuff but yeah. i brought some props you well let's see what you got so i can show you like the kind of stuff i collect yeah yeah let's see that <clears throat> my illness here so, yeah hey illness. here it is a yeah. full display yeah. of medicated yeah. <laughs> so everybody will remember Oh wow! Ch 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 the original, Ch original. And everybody knows that theme song. Yeah, that's so, crazy. Oh man, this is a feat of marketing genius right here. Okay, so the 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 planner was shit. It, like they didn't, the plants didn't grow or whatever. Yeah. But everybody knows the jingle. <laughs> Did they really and not? They had bad. They didn't do reviews. These like are they junk. <laughs> yeah, they don't work. You, you like spread the seeds on there like peanut butter, and so they they just don't work. But in the commercial, it works great. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff I have in my collection. That's like the original one yeah. too. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now they got a bunch of different. You better have a you better have a pet rock in there. So no, I didn't bring, but I do oh, have a one. Mad ball, I remember those. <laughs> man. Oh man. So yeah, so toys, games, just anything. Pop Fun culture. fact about Mad Balls: I remember I used to collect them because Pizza Hut had a thing with them in the eighties, um, and you know whatever, and you, you order whatever, and you could get get one of those. So right. I had like, That's you crazy. know. So yeah. fuck you guys, yeah. I was a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I ate lots of Those pizza. Those are cool, man. And so, so I had a whole collection. The Mac Check DLT, the Mac DLT. Yeah, man. Keeps the uh, hot side hot, the cold yeah. side cold. Those things were actually pretty good. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, really good for you, the, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although I don't the, remember the Mac DLT at all for some reason. Really? The Do burger, you know? it's been discontinued. Hot but side this, hot, cold side cold. Yeah. Oh, the, I know, the, but the container lives on for a hamburger and a bun, and then on the other side of the... Lettuce, tomato, yep. cheese, cheese, bun. Oh, the so reason you can put you it on whenever it, you want it. Yeah. They so got the rid of the healthy part of it so they can't have it. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, the thing about that container was is you could take the top off of it and fold it over and it would put yeah. the burger together for you. Yeah. So, so that way the lettuce was crisp. Did you actually Check eat that burger? That? So here's oh, a wow. crazy that toy, yesterday. Right? Come on. Yeah, That's man. probably worth some money. Did so, what is that? Tell, tell the people at home what that is and show the camera. I don't know what this is. It's Darth Vader. Darth Vader, original Kenner. Return of the Jedi, yeah. Yep. yeah wow. Kenner made these. Look at the price tag on it. I can see that. Dollar nineteen Sold. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, give I you know. that for I need, it. I need to, I need <laughs> to double my money. I should have brought my collection. 
So I, and then I still have my collection from when I was. A these kid. are hard to find now. Hey, Eric, look on look, look on yeah. eBay or something and see how much those things are going for. Now. Return of the Jedi, not Star Wars. You so, can't see what it is. Yeah. It's so what dark, is that, Pete? And tell the audience actually what what it is and show the camera. So yeah, so I, I also collect like you know movie props and and all kinds of items, just anything pop culture related to the '80s. So this is Madonna's checkbook this is really her checkbook whoa and yeah. it's got some handwritten notes in here and she's actually she writes a lot of handwritten <laughs> notes yeah uh but uh this went up for auction a few years ago and i i'm weird dude i just had to have this right yeah. who, who doesn't want madonna's checkbook <laughs> right i'll wait nobody else wants it but me <laughs> actually i had to fight somebody pretty hard to get this thing uh really? But yeah, this is you know just just an example of like the weird stuff I, I kind of collect at home and uh, eight hundred dollars Return hey, look, of the yeah, Jedi Darth Vader eight hundred dollars in the packaging. Here's the question: <laughs> It says it's for sale by the X Five Podcast. That's yeah. weird. Pete, what did you pay for that? <laughs> um, did you pay eight hundred? No. No, no. Put on cl completed listings because that's not what they sell for. Probably that's well, what that's, somebody. That's wants. a range. That's good. What, yeah. yeah. What, uh, well, but I mean, cool. when I when I started buying that stuff, it wasn't as popular as it is now. It really yeah. caught on, and like it was it was super affordable. Yeah. Wow. But how much know, was Madonna's cool. checkbook? If you don't mind me asking, uh, you don't you don't want to say uh, four I mean. figures, three figures. Um, it was. I don't want to say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have an idea. <laughs> That's a deal. Uh, what was so? What was the other item you you? Well, the can the can. Yeah. So oh, everybody oh, remembers oh, Coke. New yeah. Coke, right? Yeah. But do you remember who the spokesperson was for New Coke? New Coke, yeah, um, yeah. Coke. I think it was uh, Michael Starr because he did a lot of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> was, uh, I don't think this guy had the same uh, habits as Michael Starr. Michael Starr had a, better habits. This is a uh, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Oh. Bill Cosby. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Cosby. I actually got There's Bill Cosby no at the. Uh, I got Bill Cosby at the at the at the Steel Panther show. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, heard, I heard Pete came up to me. He's yeah. like, somebody put something in my 12th shot of Jaeger last year. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, yeah. it's not yeah. hot. It wasn't but my you fault. Were I was Coke to... and you will like it. <laughs> I had a great time. It was fun, dude. Uh, <laughs> you will like it. How about this? Oh. Trapper Keeper. Trapper Keeper, right? Trapper, Trapper, right? Yeah. Everybody remembers. How about, Man, this? How about this? The best. How about this? Yeah, uh, I got that. Many, right, right, right. Memory oh, draw all oh, right. If That's you don't, a good color look, man, too, man. If you don't have a slap bracelet in that bag, you need to get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> have a slap. Would you remember why they they kind of canceled slap bracelets? Because yeah, they, they were metal. People. They were yeah, they were tin inside. Yeah. You could chop people. Uh, that was just that was just for pussies, though. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Hey, a kid. Hey, a kid. I, a kid I went to school with got. Like no. cut real bad with them. You didn't no. go to school. Yeah, they did. No, no, we all heard <laughs> that story. <laughs> Nobody knows it for real. I watched. I watched it. I watched it. Let me guess. You went to a kid with a name Lamangelo too. Oh, it was <laughs> Lamangelo. <laughs> all it was was that banding metal. <laughs> they cut him. They cut him. You good. remember though? They did take them off the market for a little bit, and then when they come back out, then they were you know plastic. They were or plastic. Whatever. Wasn't as fun. So, do you have one of the metal ones? Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. And that that Coke can is cool. Do you remember Joke Cola? Oh yep. yeah. That, oh, yeah. You need to get a Joke, joke cola. cola. I wonder what. Yep. The, uh, funny story. Twice the sugar, twice the caffeine. Yeah. Remember that? Or funny remember story Joel about yeah. it. Joel, it was like the Joel first energy great. drink, really. Yeah. Yep. But I remember these kids uh, that I went to high school with. They would go jolting, and what that was, and they were horrible kids. Drink a six pack of it. Hey, but, we've heard about your childhood. And you they are, would go throw them. <laughs> they would go throw them at the cop cars at the uh, at the police department and like bust. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, horrible. that was Joel. What? I thought it you was, meant they were yeah. like chugging them or something. No, they they would do all that. Them. Then they would go like throw them at cop. It was horrible. What Damn. are the things that were about this long and don't say my cock before I even get? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, you killed me. Then I'm out. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I can see your wheels turning. <laughs> That made that it was like a kazoo, but it made that whistling noise. Oh, oh yeah. The, yeah. What, what did they call those things? You know what I'm talking about? They're yeah. something gas station. Annoying yeah. as fuck. Weren't yeah. they called wi wizards? What were those? Wizards? Come on, something yeah, like that. Wizards. Yeah, 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 so you said, go. You were like, this though might be '90s. We're getting a little. No, no, you got to watch out when you get the timeline going. That was like around the time when I was buying baseball cards and stuff. I would get baseball cards like Fleer. Yeah. Or what was the other one? Fleer. Donruss tops. Tops and and I get one of those little 
thing and some uh, <laughs> big league chew, and you couldn't tell me shit, buddy. I had like a propeller the on the inside of it. Yeah, it did. It. Yeah, yeah, it did. You know, and yeah, I remember. And they those. used one in a Van Halen song. I remember back then. Probably, yeah. Eric. See if you can huh. find those on the do online. You, do you guys remember candy cigarettes? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I still they got a box. Yeah, do they really? Yeah, I got a box. Candy, they're called candy sticks now. No, yeah. Yep. Uh, and they don't do have, they have the, the red they, they don't have the red tip. Uh, the red tip no, said no. it all. Nope. Yeah. The but ones they, I got still have the red tip on them. I bought a box of them the other day. Really? Heard, yeah. I like the way they taste. Yeah. Wait, you bought candy cigarettes? Yeah. yeah. He's trying to quit smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really the I try those. If no. you bought them because you're quitting smoking, I'm actually pumped about that. <laughs> <laughs> if not, uh, you're a serial killer. <laughs> yeah. do, do you remember some of them though back in the day had like that powder, the powder. on them? And you could yeah. blow it. And it the, would, you yeah. know. But those were the ones that were bubble gum, though. They yeah. had a wrapper around them, and you blow them. That was oh, actually yeah. a piece of bubble gum. Like a cigar, I think. Yeah. Gum. Well, oh, cigar. yeah, no, not No, those. no, the ones you're talking about look like, there they are. Stallions. No, I've never seen one that looks Stallion like that. Stallion bubble gum. Yeah, you blow on them, and smoke comes out the I end I remember of them. those. Yeah. Or powder. Did you need to buy those? Check oh, this out. Popeye brand, though, we, we, we had in Canada. Charlie, oh, check this out. Look at this. Look at that. So explain to everybody what that is. It's a butt plug. Either <laughs> yes, pantyhose, yeah. legs, right? Everybody remembers this Man, uh, yeah. container here. That reminds me. I call my mom. I know. It's <laughs> yeah. my mom. Or you could rob a bank, you know, with this yeah. or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> but are, is there anything in there? Bank robbery yeah, starter of course, kit. man. So everything I collect has got to work or are you they, know, are those be functional. Used? Uh, yeah. Oh, you got to find out. No. Smell them right here. <laughs> no, you got to find out. They came with well, Madonna's like checkbook. Smells sandwich over here, dude. Put that back up. <laughs> That's terrible. It's weird. You Gross know what Madonna's? I mean? Madonna's? <laughs> you got to have one is that, is that Madonna's too, by the way? Jesus. <laughs> I wish it was. You got more stuff. Show us. <laughs> yeah, what else you got okay. in there? Cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at it. Digging so, in your bag of tricks over so, here, Pete. Who'd you steal that Christmas bag from? I appreciate from? you giving all those. I found that my I remember those. Who remembers this Turbo footballs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that was this was hours of fun. Somebody always took a fucking bite out chunk. of one of these. You know what I mean? Took a bite. Yeah. 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 Like, what? The chunk missing? Why did somebody bite the Nerf Turbo Ball? There's it always had to have been like so satisfying. You know what? <laughs> Growing up on Lake Michigan, what a- finals all the time at the beach. Because they're a great play within the water. <laughs> if you remember, they, they, if you remember they used to make those with a whistle in them. When you throw them, it goes. Yeah. It has a uh, wings on the back of it. Yep. So, yeah, so who remembers, you know, everybody yeah. remembers Polaroid. They wow. actually remade these things, right? And they kind of took this retro vibe, and yeah. you know. Uh, but like I said, I mean, people just remember this stuff, and and they and it gives them that feeling, you know. Yeah. And uh, not here. It's not giving you guys any feelings. <laughs> but, <laughs> it is but, you know, it works well online. Remember the cube flashes that yep. would go on, and they would turn, and they'd oh, fall yeah. away? So those things have become popular again. So when we play some of the college bars that we play at there's a lot of girls that have those polaroids oh, wow. now they'll take pictures and they'll hand you polaroids so really? those oh yeah Perfect. i bought my daughter one of the new small ones it takes a small picture yeah that's what i'm talking about yeah, yeah she's gonna take one. a little little mm-hmm. picture yeah how many dick pics have you taken with this <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to capture because yeah. i can't hold it still for that <laughs> that, that, that real still yeah that yeah, yeah. are you who, holding a swatch watch? who remembers a swatch watch dude mm-hmm. dude this is actually, the, that's a special one called david said swatch i love it's a collector's item and you snatched it out that's all right yeah, that's what it's for, man. Uh, yeah, you can actually. We're gonna be selling this on the podcast for about tree fifty. Uh, you can you can tell that Pete does not like you holding that. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. No, it's it's cool. Be, yeah, be that's careful. not what I remember swatches be looking careful. like. By the way, no, what were the guards they had on them? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, like little jelly bracelets, little rubber oh, yeah, bands. Yeah, yeah, so what what yeah, what was special? Face? Yeah, well, this one here, about that the, one. these these pop off. If I could do it. Careful. Careful. Pete, careful. Please don't break this. Please don't do it. I think Please it's not it. worth it. <laughs> Swatch watches are notorious for like breaking as soon as you put them on and stuff. And, 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 uh, but. I brought this one because it was an elastic band or whatever. So they still make Swatch watches too. Yeah. Do they really? Yeah. yeah. They came back. Kiss and- just, um, you know, for their last show at Madison Square Garden, they did a whole line of Swatch watches. They're when you in, say kiss, you mean Gene Simmons, by the way. So no, 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 no. <laughs> it, it's individual. You got all the guys in the band on their different watches, and they did a big thing there at the Swatch place in Times Square. Those have got their pictures. Nice. Does it have like their picture in it yeah. or something? Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's a Gene idea. Marketing. Oh, one hundred percent. That's what I'm talking about. One hundred percent. I think this might be the last item, and and, oh. and, it's, and it's definitely recognizable. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, I can't get one. It's it's still in there. So you guys, you guys got the hair, you know. Maybe 
I thought maybe, 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 maybe you would spray some. Uh, <laughs> do it, David. It's going uh, pesticide do now. It. Yeah, it's uh, straight spray poison. It. Your hair's yeah. falling out. Yeah, do don't, do it. don't do it. I'm not yeah, don't spray it. It's got to be straight poison. I'm sure what's in my hair is even worse than this. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's say, could it make your hair look worse? Uh, there it is. Shut up. There you go. <laughs> so every chick had to have right Aquanet, yeah. right? Casio. She, there's the answer. She couldn't to your leave question. the house. Without. That's how I knew it was bingo night. When I go to my grandma's, and all you smell is Aquanet in the house. Oh wait, check this out. Oh, it's bingo night. Check this out. A floppy oh, wow. disk. Floppy yeah. disk. Wow. Right. Remember these? Yeah, man. Is that nineties or eighties? Eighties. Yeah, this 80s. is definitely yeah. eighties. Yeah. Commodore sixty four. Yeah. 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 Used to play Oregon Trail and all yeah. that shit. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. They wow. had they'd had them in the uh, at the library at school. You'd go in and they'd have those. You put the floppy disk in and do like the math problems yeah. and yeah. shit. Remember that in the nineties they they had the rigid disk. They they kind of improved it, yeah. slightly improved it to yeah. you know you could. There was like uh, <laughs> wow. two you know two uh, megapixels on your screen yeah. there. Uh, but yeah, man, that's what it is. It's just about sharing this stuff with people and yeah. reliving that experience, and then just putting up just crazy stuff online and just just you know I get it. It's fun, man. I've met people all over the world and and uh, yeah. Got to meet you guys, and you know, that's I'm cool. Sh- I'm sure it's just as thrilling for you to meet me. <laughs> so, you have fun, a, man. Do you have a hoverboard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. What's your most cherished cool. item? Okay, I asked him this earlier too. Uh-oh. Man, um, well, you know what? Like, I, I have very few things from like my own childhood. Yeah. So I would say something like that. But I've got, you know, I've got some movie props, some some yeah. kind of recognizable stuff, and like, uh, you know, um, can I say? Yeah, I'll say because I've seen a million times. Can yeah. you, uh, Eric, Terry, Scott has slept in one of the I've slept rooms. in the room. <laughs> yeah, so the totally eighties room oh, yeah. is actually a room. Like is, stayed over, awesome. slept. Yeah. yeah, that's not all I did in the room. Right? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 you go to bed. <laughs> he's like, a, I there's, saw a, that. there's no rules when no, people go to sleep. Right. Scott's like, I no, I have one of those on black lights. Well, he's got one of Linda Evans' dresses from Dynasty, so that did it for me. Yeah, but well, you had it on. Yeah, I did. Can you Google Casey Kasem Saved by the Bell? Casey Kasem Saved by the Bell. Google that Casey yeah. Kasem. and show us the picture. Yeah. If he can. We got to put you under we'll pressure because you're not answering. Let's put it this way. So your house is catching on fire. Right, right, right. right Give right. me three things you're grabbing hey. on the way out. You have two kids. Don't forget. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're, 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 they're picking up one thing. <laughs> limits you got it right one there. and they get one. <laughs> that really limits it. Um, <laughs> you got to get it. Just a reminder. Oh, I had the wife. <laughs> right. Yo, okay. Well. So yell at them loudly while you're okay, grabbing your props. Pete owns that sweater. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Casey Casey's one. Is, I mean, that a, yep. is that a Kooji sweater? It is. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's very, I was going to say, it's very Bill Cosby, which is it. That's well, what is that? It's I a would probably. No, a Kooji sweater. That's the brand. That's, the brand. That's, that's, that's probably. Really? Yeah. It's probably. I'd probably grab that. So I think. One the of, reason that I know what that is, right, is. Who, You're a big Casey Casey fan. No. Mm-hmm. Um, There's a rap song. Bill Cosby. Notorious B.I.G. was oh. famous oh. for wearing Coogee sweaters, oh, yeah, and they yeah. were all those ridiculous, ugly sweaters. Yeah. yeah. And so I was like, that's 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 got to be what that is. They were really popular in the 80s and 90s. So you yeah, have so that at actual house. sweater that's in that picture. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. House. That's strong. Yeah, it's, it's on a mannequin with no face, which is <laughs> yeah, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and if you sleep, it's when you wake it all, when you sleep yeah. beside it. If you stay over, yeah, you wake up next. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, there he is. Go. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, well, awesome. don't wear it because obviously you'll be yeah, dead I, after you wear it. I would probably, <laughs> I would probably grab that sweater and make a run for it. You yeah. know, that'd be one of the. Well, items just I'd put ride. that on and then grab something else. What are you grabbing? Uh, geez, I got, I have, um, I have uh, Mega Maid from Spaceballs, like the, uh, yeah. you know, oh, cool. like the movie prop. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably oh, the actual take that. movie prop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would probably cool. grab that. That's cool. Uh, and. Uh, What's the, then what's the last thing? Probably one item that I've, you know, like I said, I have very few things from like my life, you know, yeah. and I'd, I'd probably, you know, just a, a small like uh, toy that maybe I grew up with or something like that. I've got a few yeah. of those, but I'd probably snatch one of them up, you know, just for. All right, let's go around the room. Jeff, do you have anything left from your childhood? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I've only got one little thing left. It's a, it's an E.T. doll, a little I'm sure you probably know the yeah. one I'm talking about. It's the like a little vinyl, leather. The vinyl. Yeah, the little vinyl. The skin, little, where the skin yeah. falls off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, mine's yeah. actually still intact. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And, My, the, and the fingers. I, I yeah. had that doll. Yeah. yeah I, that, I've got that. I've got, um, it's not mine, but of course everybody stores their shit at my house, but I've got, uh, <laughs> Jacob's got a castle of gray skull. Yeah. Oh, and nice. Fully intact. Oh, wow. It's in it. Dang. What about yeah. you? I got uh, a large Star Wars collection. 
that, but nice, but not like acquired later. Like it was my childhood, all my stuff, OG stuff, yeah. and I have uh, all my baseball cards from when I collected. Wow. Them. That's nice, cool. which are worth nothing now. But yeah, no, Star some Wars of them, some of them really like went crazy. They were worth nothing for a while, and then they really came back. They come back, a little but you bit. got all the shitty ones. Like that's the deal. I mean, I got some that were popular when that were expensive when I was a kid yeah. too. But no yeah, Mickey. I just kept my whole collection. No wow, Mickey, no Mickey cool. Mantle rookie cards. I got some rookie cards. I got Mark McGuire and stuff. I got the Cal Ripken fuck face card. Do you remember that mm-hmm. one? That Mark they McGuire. wrote it on his bat and uh, the whole deal. It was fun really? stuff. Really? That Mark McGuire one may be worth something. Olympic rookie, yeah. I mean, I it, they're not like they're, you know, back in the heyday, it was, they were very expensive, man. But that, it's just, it's fun. What do you got? You got anything? Charlie. I've got two things left. I, I had that Castle Grayskull. I don't know where it was, but I do still have two cool items. I've got a... A team train set, the complete train set. Whoa, oh, yeah. Um, and we're not playing with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to set it up. It's got like the mountains and all this stuff. And, you know, and it's got the little van that's got a spring loaded thing. So when the trains come through, you can press the button and it launches yeah. the van over oh, the train. Oh, wow. And then I've got the, uh, uh, what, what the fuck? I just forgot. <clears throat> oh, my God. Hey, anyway. this is part. Of, this is part of this age group here. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, if you can oh. remember all your collectibles, you're not old. Enough. Are, are you talking? To, are you talking about dementia? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm getting there too, man. Uh, and then I've got a Captain Power. Oh, um, nice. Uh, thing I found about a year, uh, probably. Oh, she was probably been five or six years ago, actually, when I found it. Um, in my grand, in my grandparents' uh, basement. It's. It was one of the things. Like, it has this like sensor. And you yeah, could like shoot the, into the TV on the television, yeah, yeah. and stuff yeah, with it. Yeah. And so I found that. But yeah, but wow, I've got some, I've got a gift for y'all. Can I go? Uh, can I go put it on real quick? Yeah, that I've still got. <laughs> oh man, y'all Whoa. are gonna fucking love this. <laughs> <All right. laughs> hey, you remember the red? Put it on. This is the, uh, This is big. The red huffy bicycles that had the oh, disc man. on the wheels. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember. Oh yeah. yeah Sig- they call it. They call it. It's called Those Sigma. Cool. The Sigma. Yes. Yeah. I had a red one. My. I got one for Christmas one year. I had a red one, and my brother had the gray one. Did you have the seat on it, or you just sat on the pole? Like, no, I had to actually <laughs> have the seat on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just gonna butt in real quick. Yeah, this what is about Eric, you, Eric, uh, producer? Uh oh, he's gonna have scenes. some stuff. So I still have my uh, original NES with Rob uh, the robot. Yeah, oh, the light nice. gun. Oh, wow. I have the NES Advantage, about a hundred cartridges. Oh, Come on wow. now, I have all my. Uh, uh, Nintendo Power magazines. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that's some NES. But the, the, this was your original stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. That's the, awesome. This wow. isn't actually a picture of it. I just grabbed that off the internet. But <laughs> what about the Power Glove? That yes. thing didn't work for us. I didn't nothing. get that. That sucked even back then. Just the did movie not was work. cool. It made it look super cool. <laughs> yeah. The eighties were good at yeah. you know like showing us like this is awesome, and then when you get it, it's they awesome. promise oh. it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What? Color me bad. Stand up. Hang guys, on. Guys, hold on now. Yeah. Let me just unpack Chicago this shit for y'all White now. Chicago White Sox. Listen. Bell Biv DeVoe. I wore these. You know, I had these made at Eastwood Mall now. Yeah, Eastwood Mall. I had an airbrush shop make these <laughs> customized for me. This is amazing. Okay, we're going to go through all this that I have on here, by the way. <laughs> I wore these to school. Let me preface this with I wore these to school one day. And caught so much heat about it. <laughs> this is the second time I've worn them. Wow. So, I, I, <laughs> BBD. You only wore them Bell one. Devo, yeah, you only wore them one time, and then you, you didn't wear them again. I know, dude. I caught it. They were popular for like a day, though. You know, he, you know, he loves them because he brought. For some reason, you I wore them on the next day. You could, you have to, you have to leave like one yeah, undone, right? You of can't. Of yeah. No, well, don't. actually, I got a surprise for you here. Uh, uh, Oh, got my name oh, right there. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so we got that. Let me know if you need right more, mate. I need that, a that Another bad creation. Are we familiar with them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Okay. Yep. Oh, yep. boy. Yeah, that's sweet, dude. Okay. Do me. Dang. Okay. Okay. Oh. Where's Kid and Play? Oh, is that this is the music I was into at the time. <laughs> right? Do me. Too short. I love it. Too man. short. Too short. Short yep. dogs. See how it says? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, UNLV. I don't know what my affiliation to UNLV was. It's Chicago White Sox. Were you a White Sox? That either. I, I don't remember ever being a Wait, Chicago White Sox fan. I would just. Hey, I back in the 80s and 90s, you could just be 
any fan. If yeah. their oh, if their yeah, logo yeah. was cool, yeah. like everybody was oh, a yeah. Charlotte Hornets fan for some reason. All about the logo. Nobody. You know what I mean? Everyone in my school had Raiders. The Raiders, man. Starter hat. Yeah, starter hat. Anything starter was the jam. Yeah. Do me on the back of my butt was really the bad. Yeah. The biggest bad call of all. Yeah. Wasn't that a Bobby Brown song? Yeah. I think. Do me is a Belle Bib DeVos song. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, David was. Me, baby. Wait, so, but you love him because you've held on to him this long. Uh, well, I, well, know, I thought there will be a moment when these. Were, actually, I'm going to do a set tonight at our Hack and Forth show. I'm going to do a set in these. It's going <laughs> to give the go. panel, like, they're going to be able to roast me on them. But yeah, I'm going to go up. And, yeah, I just knew they're worth keeping up with, you know? Did anybody else have short overall, shorts overalls? I or, did. I, had I some, did. I had some did Tommy Hilfiger. I had a pair ones. of all white ones. Did anybody uh, yeah. ever airbrush them though? No, no, no. no I was. Y'all don't have balls, yeah. dude. Oh. This studio is full wear of a bunch I, of guys with no balls. <laughs> oh, Stephen. Stephen was airbrushing. <laughs> oh yeah. I used to paint the jean jackets and the the break dancing days for people. Oh yeah. Hey Steve, do you oh, have yeah. anything from your childhood? I don't. I wish. I lost everything in a fire. A wagon wheel. Oh, thanks for bringing <laughs> it up. But I do have a collection of my own of. Stuff I found in abandoned places. <laughs> That's just fucked up. Dang, that was dirty. He's cool like, stuff. fuck you. Leave it to Stephen <laughs> King to go dark on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, I, I've got an urn of my great grandfather. the glasses. He's crying. By the way, guys, I shit bats all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is a a real deal ghost hunter. Oh, uh, like oh, I man. got to experience like some oh, real. Well, let me ask Scott about if he's got anything from his childhood. Um, and then I want we Steven's got a story to tell, and we've got some footage of it. Okay, oh, show, show the footage, eh? yeah. yeah. And so, do you have Scott? Do you have anything from your childhood? Uh, guilt, regret, mommy issues. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, anything else? Other than that, no, <laughs> no. I still wear the same underwear, same size. You know what? And <laughs> Pete, I'll, I'll tell you this. Wait, I got a Wayne Gretzky rookie card. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. my. That's my. I'm nice. a hockey fan. That's my pride. I told my you prize. to dig that out. Like now is the time to get rid of that. Take the money, dude. So <laughs> it, it's far up there. I can't dig it out. Don't right take now. financial advice from Pete. By the <laughs> yeah, way, yeah, no, don't do that. He'll end up with a bunch of mortgage yeah. on his house. I'll trade you a chia pet for that card. It's a slippery slope. I've got an original McRib. Yeah. Oddly enough, he's willing to buy that Gretzky. Yeah, yeah. You do have some original food, don't you? Yeah, and it, well, the, it's it's food from the it gets thing really is, weird. It's got man, that man, McRib collect, and it's yeah. still edible. I, yeah, what do you have? You have, you have I bet you have a box of Mr. T cereal, don't you? Oh, I do. Man. See, I <laughs> fucking knew it. I Damn knew it. it. I do. All right, that's like everybody in Alabama wow. having the uh, the Crimson Tide Cokes. Cokes. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I got some of those. Too. Everybody's got the Bear Bryant Cokes. Yeah, yeah. Don't open it, right? Like, and they thought Matt's gonna be around retirement now. Yeah, yeah. Don't mean, hey, kids, handle that. Oh my, don't touch that Bear Bryant. Oh my God, I've got a food challenge for you right now Whoa. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. there happens to be some bear bright coca-cola across the road in my golf station what is what is it hold on one second what what is you, you guys just it? talked amongst what, yourself. Do, can somebody tell us what, what is Bear Bryant Coca-Cola? So, Bear Bryant was the coach of Alabama okay. uh, f until Nick Saban came along he was the greatest coach a college football coach of all time and Coca-Cola made collectors Bear Bryant bottles so they were wow. glass bottles of Coke with Bear Bryant's face on Real. one side okay, of them. So and so everybody down here <laughs> was drinking it. had them, has Kept passed it. them yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they were, collect they were collector's items. Yeah. Oh, I bet is what they were. I mean, we're going to look at it, and I'm going to try to persuade somebody to drink it. Yes, <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, man. We need to get the guy with the tattoo. <laughs> yeah, but they were Mason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That guy for sure. Dude. No, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to give you one if you don't have one. What a tattoo? No, a co one of these cokes. Oh, dude, I love to. Are they yeah. from the 70s or the 80s? 80s. 80s. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I knew they were old. I've also got a from the 80s a Bear Bryant field goal post cover out there in the shop from Alabama. Wow. Love you know. it. Yeah. Love all that stuff. I can't. You know, I got so much stuff now. It's like. Well, what's the first thing you splurged on? Because you had to start collecting smaller stuff, and then you went, yeah, you know a, what? Well, I'm going to finally pull the trigger. Dude, there's an auction going right now, and we I've been kind of like looking at it. Uh, this crackhead is uh, uh, I know. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. <laughs> he woke up uh, watching it. Um, Some of that stuff, yeah, it gets to be like real money. 
You know what I mean? But it it does retain a value, right. you know, but um What was yeah. the first where you went I'm going all in on this damn collecting thing and I'm I need a, I need oh, a I big got, piece. You know what? I have a, I have a, a a Devo, like one an original Devo uniform, like the yellow like Devo. The whole deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got one. I think that was probably the first one I spent like money and that would cross that line. I was like, I can't. You got the, <laughs> the, the, we went far now. We went far. <laughs> we got, and now uh, you spent more than that, right? It's quite a thing. Yeah. yeah it's it's, it's easy after high. that. Yeah. It's like drugs. Does it know? have the red helmet? Try it. Looks no, like a flower pot. They always wore matching. So if it yeah. was yellow outfit, it was probably yellow helmet, right? It's no, oh. sometimes. They, yeah. They always look like a flower Could, pot on their head or something. Yeah. Yeah. It, <laughs> I do have a helmet, but it's not an original one. But uh, yeah, I've got I've got an original suit. That was probably the first one where I spent some money, and I was like, God. But then when you get it in the mail, you're like, This is fucking sick. This is the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. But then nobody else <laughs> no, shares so, that no with regret. you. No, yeah, no, but no. Over. But then people come over and they're like, I'm like, Yeah, check out this Devo thing. And they're like, Well, yeah, that's cool. But you got to you got the legs, fucking pantyhose. They love that stuff more <laughs> than like you know. You got somebody else's pantyhose. Somebody famous's. Best thing I had for a while. Joan Jett. Oh, yeah. Joan like, Jett's pants. Scott sniffed them. I did. I have, uh, <laughs> I you know what? I have Freddie Mercury's socks. Did you Weird sniff enough. those, too? I, I yeah. wore them. They have a in lot a, of cum in, in them. For I some wore them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who knew? Scott has, like, the biggest feet ever. Like, dude, don't fuck up Freddie Mercury's socks, man. Stretched like, them out. You know, <laughs> I stretched out Freddie Mercury. I mean, I stretched out, <laughs> <laughs> I stretch out his socks, I meant. Yeah. I meant his socks. Oh, shit. Well, are they, like, know. big tube socks? What are they? Yeah, they're, like, tube yeah. socks. Yeah, yeah the stripes is everything you want them to be. Yeah, it's got the stripes. Yeah. You get a certificate of authenticity on something like that? Yeah, so yeah, so a lot of these items you want to make sure that you get from these reputable places. There's a handful of like auction places, and yeah, you definitely want to do that because there's a lot of fake stuff. Up we there. watch. You could easily spend all your money on fake. stuff. Okay, so I lied. This morning, these are from the '90s. These, oh. this is this is was bottled January first, nineteen ninety three. Oh, wow. Okay, um, it's 1992 cha- national championship. So that's Gene um, Stallings. Thirty one years Cup. old. Dang, but wow. you know it's been bottled. Still it's cool. Not, not I tell up. you what you're doing. You're gonna bait him in to start collecting '90s shit. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> I thought about it. You should go you ahead and tie what? your arm off, this, Let's go ahead and get that needle. What we're in gonna there. do <laughs> is she will chase that with some Blantons because it's in a glass bottle. Look at that. There's no sediment. No, no so, sediment or anything. So in those, it. so Coke, cokes and cans and stuff. Those things are technically non-perishable the only thing that happens when they go out of date is is they lose their carbonation so it's not technically dangerous Do to you drink know that how many people would be so pissed if you open that and drink it, it and drink it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but look at look let's verify that. look it up online it's worth 30 cents probably yeah look up <laughs> national 1992 national championship um, bottled coke coca-cola now down south they're worth more for sure oh yeah yeah, but by well, the we, way, we they, do have we do have the Bear Bryant ones they, too. Yeah, they did make a Bear Bryant one too that was okay. from the eighties. They were bigger; the bottles were bigger. Yeah. And we've I, we've even got a case for it. It's like a wooden yeah. slotted case, yeah. and it's all painted up. It's, it's like what they used Here, to bring. It's what they used to. <laughs> <laughs> it's what they used to. What they used to carry a uh, glass. You know, the big fifty bucks, bucks for the six pack. Yeah. Dang, that's because every that's like what you said. Everybody kept that. This yeah, is gonna be. Yeah. This it's is where it's cardboard at. container. Well, those, but he's also the ones that we were originally talking about were the Bear Bryant ones. Yeah, these are the, the Gene Stalin ones, basically. Yeah. I've actually seen less of those than the Bear Bryant. Yeah, yeah the Bear Bryant ones are everywhere. Yeah, if you got a Meemaw, you got God, a Bear Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before before the podcast, y'all were talking about a story that you wanted somebody to tell in here. You said save it for the pod. What was that story? Uh, Chinese y'all? restaurant? Was it a re- Chinese restaurant? <laughs> oh, God. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> That's a good story. But you, you did tease a story from Steve. Steven. So, look. So, yeah. So, I'm going to toss it over to Mr. Stephen King, Mr. Midwest Flesh over here. So, we went on a little ghost hunt a few weeks ago. Oh. It, it started out not to be a ghost hunt, actually. We just want to see an abandoned place, you know. Yeah. Film it. Cemetery. Old cemetery old church and uh charlie takes us down this dirt road and i mean middle of nowhere so dark it was it's me casey pete scott and steve a couple abandoned houses a long way so creepy and we get ghost to, dogs we get to this dead end there's an old cemetery <laughs> with this church pull in there's bats flying out of it i walk in just checking it out 
and I always say, any spirits here? And I heard something behind me. These guys are all still outside. Charlie and Casey's still in the Jeep. And I go, what? I thought the shutter on the window opened. So I was like, <laughs> close it. And I'll be damned that thing is slammed shut. I could run out. They f- were filming me, so you know they're outside. I, nope. come, I come in through the entrance, when I, I didn't believe what you were saying. And he goes, it was Charlie. I go, he's still in the Jeep. He's like, uh-oh. <laughs> but, yeah, I caught it on camera. I was ready to I go. go. Are we rolling footage? Do we have Wait, footage you caught it on camera? Yeah. 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 Scott, yeah. bring up the or and with Charlie, what, what's your name? Eric. 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 What the fuck is wrong with me today? I feel like David Lynham. I can't fucking <laughs> string a co- cognitive sentence. Okay. I, did, I did go Look in. I, like, I heard it. I did oh, not yeah. see it, but of course. Here All right. I go, close it. Oh, I'm Give us some sound, guys. I think this is afterwards. Here it is. All right. Hold up. No, no, that's way after. Back. All right, so back it up. It happened before that. Well, this is the face on the window. If you look closely. Which window? Middle? The one to the right. To the right. right. See, there's something right there in the window. I took pictures of it, and there's like it looks like an alien face or something, man. That happened right before the window slammed. Right here. No, no, no. Let, let it let it play. Yeah, what let the it play. Because it's gonna come up down. I so there was something. a noise. Dude. Does that just open by itself? Close it. Holy shit. And I dude. run out and they're all accounted you for. They're all outside. These guys. Steve was Stephen was doing the stanky leg. Ooh, dude, I, I, I never tremble like that in abandoned places. Really? To. Where is this? Where is this place at? It's here in Blunt County. Blunt County. Yeah, it was. Freaky. I'm gonna tell you this. Y'all, y'all are brave. I would. It was nuts. never in my life trust Charlie Reese in an abandoned church. <laughs> what are you, what are you, no way. Hey, look, I was in the Jeep. Yeah, it, I know, it was but scary. I'm just saying, I wouldn't even rode down there. With I would have seen it with my own so two eyes. So much practical jokes he's got going on. Dude. Chaos. <laughs> that was the middle of nowhere. It's like, I was ready to go out at that moment. Start. No we need to get out of here. Right now. We need to get out of here. <laughs> so hungry. I just keep looking at this guy. Love him, make this. Pete, did you? No, they should bring that back, dude. Did you Have actually you eat video? that one, Pete? Huh? Did you eat that one and keep the box? I wish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a great, what a great marketing plan right there. Have you seen the video that's online of the lady who saved? A hamburger and fries from McDonald's from 1990. Oh, my wife showed me that. I did see that. <laughs> and none of it's rotted. Yeah. None oh of it's gosh, molded. Nuts. None of it's broke apart. The fries look a little crusty, like you dropped them in your four in your minivan. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the burger looks wow. just like a burger. Oh my god. It's <laughs> called it's called preservatives. <laughs> I know that, that was the chaos. If she had That's it, scary. She had it saved in like the shoebox. She had the bag where she pulled open the bag. Was um, she hot? <laughs> uh, probably one time. I think she was about seven. She sounds hot. Maybe for no, you. So it's your 60. Okay. <laughs> he likes him older. Oh, man. <laughs> he likes him older. Experienced. Man, she's well, into collecting things. He she bought can Joan keep Jets a hamburger pants. for a long time. I'm into that. That's yeah. cool. So, what did you think about that, Stephen? Like when you. It blew my mind. If I wouldn't have seen it with my own two eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. If I didn't see you guys outside, I wouldn't believe it. That's so far rural, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I don't see anybody just hanging out there hoping somebody shows up to freak them out. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. you don't know Charlie no. very well. well that's, why I was, that's why when he asked, I was like, I can't wait to hear it is. When you said it was here in this But county, when I showed I like, Charlie the footage, the look in his face, I knew. Charlie's a pretty good liar, so. Hey, man. <laughs> there was nothing if he around. Did, no was power. Good. No. Yeah. Like, yeah, there's nothing out there. I yeah. went I went all around. I went, I went and filmed the whole cemetery and everything, and I went all the way around. There was, to I each used, corner, there's nobody. I was filming out. right behind C. What was, that, what was that a window, too, outside? Yeah. yeah. So it could it have been a draft? No. No, no wind. It that, was pre- it that was pretty hard They're slammed heavy. for a draft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those things are made out of, like, two-by-fours. Oh, really it's thick. He- it was Charlie's like- looking at me. <laughs> Charlie I had did to, it. when I because I, I opened. Oh, oh no, no! Oh, I, I, didn't do it. Like, I went back. Uh-huh. I went back to show Steve. I was like to show. I opened it and it was. I Heavy. mean, obviously, I'm an athlete. I lift. You can tell. So, <laughs> but, but for me, it was strong. It was hard. When, when yeah. that happened, I ran out. I looked over and I see Charlie and Casey's face is still in the jeep, and these two guys standing there. 
You yeah. know that what? Was it. And then when we when everybody went back to the house, we everybody <laughs> slept. With the, everybody left every light on in the house. Dude. <laughs> That's an old funeral chapel, man. There's there's yeah, graves man. out there from the Civil War. So why were you st- why were y'all still sitting in the truck? We just didn't feel we'd been there a couple times. I was the way he pulled in. Casey, they were all yeah, filming. Casey said she used to go there when she was younger. Like yeah, hang out as a they team. were all filming and shit. And I just we just didn't want to get in the he way. He pulled in so the headlights kind of lit it up for you us. Know? Yeah. yeah. He's like, go ahead. Stage lighting. Set the scene. Yeah. It freaked me out, man. So if they want to go watch that and uh, there's a, there's give a couple, their verdict on it, where do they go? Midwest Flesh, Urbex, on YouTube. Midwest and, Flesh. Yeah. Uh, I had paranormal channels put it up on their live mm-hmm. and all their people watch it. Nobody can debunk that. Wow. They were jealous of it. There's a couple more captures in that video that you have to go watch. You'll see. Yeah, the face. Yeah, there's you a see, face. You can, you can see, see a face. You Did you say there was a lighter that threw, came through? the? That's why hey, you never yeah, have bring a lighter. Up that face hey, on, on his You know what? Too. But when I captured that coming through the window. It didn't look it, like a lighter. I think it was in a community. And usually post. when you throw something. No, that like, was, but we this already, thing we already went, said about that. It was weird, man. No, that's what I said. That's why Charlie never has a lighter. You just throw it through windows. Something came through that window and it did a... A weird path. Whoa. It was really weird. What did those what did they say? The paranormal experts or whatever? They did tried it? to pick it apart and they, that guy told me, to tell you the truth, I'm jealous. That's stuff we try to catch. He was really? I watched it, I don't know how many times, zoomed in. I can't pick it apart. He didn't hmm. see the fishing line. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that the fishing line? I'm telling you, man. Is that the mo- There's the yeah, face. That's the face right there. That that's they a call. still shot. Oh, my God. That's a still shot I took from my video. Actually, my wife noticed it in editing. She goes, go back. There's something in that window. I, I know what that is. It's a fucking snipe. We got to go <laughs> We gotta go hunt those. Yeah, we gotta, yeah. <laughs> snipe hunters. That's that what, is creepy, that little face in the corner. Yeah. There. Yeah, man. There it is. Looks like Jigsaw. Everybody was accounted for. Looks like a real yeah. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Donald Duck. Dude, t- look at that shit. Uh, That's freaky, man. It looks like an alien. I'm blown yeah. away. It does. I mean, it's not Donald. It's Howard the Duck. Is what it Howard, right? Oh, Pete collects that. Pete. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, you have know, that? Uh, now, that would be something to get hold of. The yeah, suit. The I'll Howard the Duck you, suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that comes up for auction, man. Yeah. Now that was all over. I'm missing the whole auction. Damn it. So there he is right there. Yeah. Yeah. Duck. Hold on one second, yeah. Stephen. Let me ask you this. Yeah. All right. So say say something just came up for auction, uh-huh. right? And you just had to have it. What's your intern? What's your budget for stuff oh, like that? His, like, co- his kid's college oh, fund. Oh man. <laughs> well, when when does this auction end? Uh, it's like a three day auction. So what are you what are you what are you looking at on this auction? What are you? I don't want to say uh, something really. I don't cool want Charlie to get it. Like he'll smash it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't know Charlie. You gotta be careful, man. You don't know Charlie well enough. If Charlie got it, he'd probably give it to you. So, well, no, no, yeah, I, yeah, I know he's a nice guy. All right, so don't talk about that. Then answer his. What's the highest? Um, would you ever go six figures? If he wants a divorce, yeah, <laughs> like live in my truck. Um, you know, I mean, it depends because that stuff retains a value. And then with the auction prices, if if you hold on to it for a year and you come back to the next auction, that's where they start the bidding from. So you've now, yeah, and these people that buy these things know that. So now it's worth. That's what y'all all tell y'all so. Right, it is. <laughs> it does work currently. It is the same thing. But yeah, I mean, fifty I, you grand. Know, you could spend ten. 10, 20 grand easy. Wow, when I yeah. say you, how much did the Bill and Ted phone booth go for this morning? Yeah, Bill and Ted's the actual phone booth from the phone movie booth movie. prop. Yeah. yeah, like the one they time travel in. It sold yeah. for nineteen thousand dollars, which I thought was that a was a bargain. great deal. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not right. that bad. I would have bought that. Said, I, I know you would. Right? That's not that bad. <laughs> you gotta go pick it. You gotta in, pick uh, it in up. The corner though. somewhere. Yeah, and that that'll cost off. you nineteen. And then the original <laughs> axe yeah. from The Shining. We watched that. Morning. Yeah, that's strong. Hundred yep. grand. That's a hundred. Hundred grand. Yep. Hundred grand. Now man. it's getting a little salty. Yeah, yeah. That's a little salty. It's got Shelly Duvall's blood on it though. Yeah, slowest runner of all time. Remember her in that movie? She like. Ran so slow, yeah. like Shelly Duvall. Shelly Duvall, faster my yeah. fat ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you ain't got you ain't got a demon chasing you, <laughs> right? I got demons Going inside. Going to that church, <laughs> chasing you, chasing inside. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're. So, I'm gonna put you two on the spot. Uh oh, we've been doing that all episode. So, 
the cult these guys both the agreed cult. to spend the night and go live <laughs> from that funeral chapel. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Pete no chance. And, and yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Steven. Who? Steven and Scott? Pete and Steven. Scott, why are you not staying? <laughs> I, Scott's I not scared at all. That stuff doesn't I'm scare him the slightest bit. I don't get scared. I thought that'd be good because I'm a believer, skeptic, and just scaredy cat. Yeah, I'm the, I know I, my, I know my role because I'm like, I get out of here, dude. Yeah, I go to a lot of graves for my channel. I took Pete yeah. to his first cemetery ever like five yeah. years ago. I, I still like feel a, comfortable you, walking You've never been to one. <laughs> he it's was It was the middle com- of the day and he was walking around like yeah. they, they were going to rise up. Well, I don't know because you like, I don't I don't know. The, I don't know the rules. Like you, you, you I still roll, don't know. You walk over, over them. them. You know what I mean? Roll. Like you walk right over them. Roll over the people. <laughs> I still feel comfortable. You walk at the feet of so I want to hear this. What's the what's so? When are we doing that? When you guys want to do that? We should line that up because Tonight. they're going to go live and, <laughs> and, and stream the whole thing live Love from it. that place. I think I would do it. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah, if we set it up right. Yeah, and the people going watching it live can watch the cameras and see stuff we maybe yeah. we won't see. Not till you go back and review it. Right. Look, yeah. You can bring this Ghostbusters trap with you. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We'll <laughs> catch you out over here. <laughs> Uh, you know what else? I think weird? I would do that. Yeah, what, I think that'd be cool. What else is weird about that video is uh, my daughter's twelve and she's sees stuff sometimes. And uh, I was editing. I was show, she seen the video when I was editing. She goes, "There's a lady sitting on that bench right there." She's talking about one of the pews in there. Mm. And, and when, when the paranormal people watched it live, there's a psychic lady that's on there, and she said the exact same thing. Oh wow! She said there's a lady sitting there. Hmm. Whoa. So, it was Charlie and Drag. <laughs> it was me. It's us. We don't see anything. Another... I don't see anything. Nah, I don't see anything. They said there's something there. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Yeah, she's, man. She's sensitive to that stuff. Yeah. She is. She sees stuff in her school, too. Yeah. That freaks her out. Hey, tell the... Oh, man. Tell the story. <laughs> tell the Chinese food story. Is this going to like ruin some people's reputation? No, it's bad. We can edit it, it, all this out. It speaks out to the character to. of Charlie <laughs> yeah. and also to the. Uh, it wasn't bad. Maybe not so. Um, <laughs> did did y'all kill a dog and eat it? No, no, no. We all, we all, it, was, it was all of us and uh, Dovidas. We're sitting out of, over in uh, another town on Oneonta. We're at a Chinese buffet. We're having a dis- really adult discussion about, you know, living in the big city as compared to small towns and. You know, I'm from Toronto. It's the most diverse city in the world. And Steve's from right from Chicago. We got Pete from a small town in Dovey, Los Angeles. So we, Charlie started talking to us about diversity in small towns. And um, that it's mostly a lot of people that are more white than it's in smaller towns in Alabama. He was speaking at a, at a volume. It's, yeah, he's, I can't help it. My voice cares. Yeah, voice cares. I'm like, all right, big dog. We're like that. <laughs> hey, big dog. And then as we were talking, a gentleman came and sat in the booth beside us and uh, an african-american gentleman now i noticed him and when uh, said hello you know kind of like you know, nod charlie then notices him i didn't <laughs> notice him he thought he, was sitting I there. Thought, I he thought he'd he been sitting, sitting there the whole time, time. what yeah. did charlie do reach for his wallet or he hit the he hit the lock button on the. Yeah. <laughs> I believe what happened was. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh god! Charlie was very worried that the gentleman had overheard odd parts of the story, like as if yeah. to say, like if this is all white, like you know, you were just he kind of he overheard right, so the look, whole thing. We yeah. were talking about, you know, in, in a lot of small towns in rural Alabama, there's not a lot of diversity. Right. Okay. That's the key word. And we were talking <laughs> about that, and then I look over. There's some diversity, okay? Right. <laughs> and I was like, holy diversity. shit, I hope he didn't think that, you know, we were, you know what I mean, yeah, a bunch yeah. of assholes. Say that because he yeah. was there. Yeah, it wasn't a bad conversation. So, no. So. Right, wait, I got to say how you did, what happened, because this is the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I, 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 went, I was sitting right across to Charlie, and Charlie, I see him looking at the guy, and like, see his face like, oh shit, like, did he over here, like, me, maybe, yeah. maybe misunderstood. So he goes to the, he goes to the gym and goes, hey, big dog. I'm like, oh, oh fuck. God. I'm, like, I'm, dog, I'm, like, I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck. He just, he, just pulled, he just ripped the cord of that parachute. I'm like, Charlie, don't go any further with this, yeah. whatever you're doing. And the guy didn't hear. He goes, hey, yeah. big dog. Yeah, that was the best part. Yeah. Line. Goes, the guy had his earbuds double in. I didn't know he, yeah. he had to double down he, on he it. Goes, he goes, hey, what's up? And then Charlie just proceeds to 
I was just telling my guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell, <laughs> trying to explain his conversation. But, that, but, but he the, guy, the guy wasn't there. The he, guy didn't hear any of it. He didn't know any about it. Well, when he took his earbuds out, you should have known he didn't hear the... Well, then I was committed. Even if he was yeah, yeah. yeah, I was exactly. committed. Yeah. Uh, I would have said, no you're going to finish some cheese sticks. I was love. I was across the I was watching him just explain to the guy. Oh, so I was talking about diversity. I look over and... It was just over. And then you said, you said it's not like Birmingham, you know. You know, but so down here, when you see someone else, and he obviously meets him, and then he goes, Where are you from? The guy goes, Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Pro- saying, Prove my point. And then all the other guys, all these other guys, <laughs> just uh, I look over at Scott. Scott's going, Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just loving you know, it. How did you spin out? <laughs> I think and we all see the guy. No, the guy was a was super good. nice guy. Charlie's yeah. like, you're, you're, you get other things besides the chicken, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I knew when you walk through the goddamn door, no, you was going to order the chicken. It's oh, <laughs> <That's> fucking terrible. <laughs> and so, oh, my yeah. God. Um, yeah, man. His wife came and sat with him, and then. Yeah. then and you know, when we left, they were probably like, well, what? let me tell you about the awkward conversation. <laughs> 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 What's going on up in Ani <laughs> He's on a podcast in Birmingham. Right now. <laughs> this white motherfucker. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tell him about yeah. when you went to the restaurant. And we're like, hey, Charlie, because Charlie was like, turn talking to us. And we all see the guy sit down, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and so by he way, goes, thank you guys. Outside, he goes, why did you tell me? I go, yeah. it was too late. It was yeah, just, you're already it was in too it. Late. Yeah, and it wasn't no, that we were know saying gonna... anything that was offensive. No, it wasn't. No, no, nothing. Like, not at all. Nobody at that table. But was... you were just worried about if he overheard. Yeah, like, I didn't yeah. want him to feel uncomfortable because. Yeah. Yeah. You were having an exact conversation yeah. about the fact that the lack of diversity. Which I, I think if he would have heard you, he wouldn't have thought that because it, it, yeah. it was nothing like that. Yeah. Everything so, you said oh, in the parking lot afterward was really so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but at that moment, it was, it was fine. <laughs> like, that was crazy. It's some of the things you... I, I didn't even heard those terms before. <laughs> but, but it was fine. Whatever. Because <laughs> he wasn't there. No. <laughs> oh, um, God. It sounds like y'all are a bunch of racist pieces of shit. <laughs> it sounds like me. it. <laughs> they are, man. I, I've been getting on Scott about it. Hey, where I'm from, I am the minority. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, guys, we got a new awkward. segment on this podcast that y'all are going to love. Uh, yes. Called The Advice. Uh, the Advice. It's uh, what? What's it called? The Advice uh, uh, segment. We got a new segment <laughs> on the podcast. It's The Advice Hotline 412 right. for Advice. Yeah. Where yeah. people call in, we play it right here, and then we all can answer their questions to their, you know, questions or problems or whatever the fuck these weirdos might now have. we haven't heard any so, of these before okay. no we didn't yeah. screen them now eric has and eric's like hey there's a lot of some there's some ones. people listening to y'all's podcast that need to be on a watch list by the way so yeah let's, let's go you got one cooked up for us there eric hey this is john i'm calling because uh about 24 years old i was on a road trip with my old man and fell asleep for 20 minutes woke up had a wet dream, completely came in my pants. I uh, went throughout the whole road trip, didn't say nothing, but uh, I guess Colin asked what you guys would have done in that situation. All right, thanks. When's the last time y'all had a wet dream? I think oh I was my 14. God. Been a long time. Yeah. I think tonight, after this story. <laughs> 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 would you tell? Could you imagine that happening? Would you tell? Well, how does he need oh, advice? Just take a shower and change you your could, clothes, man. Did you uh, see the wet spot in his pants? Oh, God. Like, uh, well, I mean, that's what? a high possibility. He you just sit in oh, it quietly if oh, he didn't horrible. see yeah, it. Yeah, what's, right? what what's the exact advice he's asking? What would you do in that situation? Yeah, yeah would you tell your, would you acknowledge yeah. it or just. Let's mm-hmm. dissect it for a second. Do you he's normally 20, tell your dad that? He's 24 on yeah. a road trip with his dad and he has a wet dream. Oh. Yeah, he's suffering Oof, enough. He's, he's going, going yeah. um, start, start over, John. Life. <laughs> just rethink all Why? everything everything you've done up until this point and do it differently oh, there you go take a shower change your clothes and uh, keep your mouth shut i would i would jump out of that vehicle i don't think i if you were the son or the dad well either one i think well a, but hold on we don't think the dad knows. he didn't say that his dad saw it that's what i'm saying john yeah, call he, us back and let us give us your dad's name so we can call him and tell him <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now that will be interesting he oh did, my god! Yeah, he's just asking if it would you acknowledge it. And he also didn't say what the uh, dream was about. 
He just said his he, dad. Oh. His dad, right? Yeah. Like, was it? So that would be even worse. Is that if you Lost forgot? Because oh I forget my dreams the second I wake up. I just see cum in my lap and be like, <laughs> uh, "Is this mine? What was this about? <laughs> <laughs> Who was it about?" I hope I have the same one tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> about that guy's dad? No, <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> Steve is like, "Fuck you." That's hilarious. What if you're in an abandoned church and you have a wet dream? Oh, yeah. oh no. Oh my god! I, would, I, would, I don't think I'd sleep in there, anyways. Mm. So you just awake and come in your pants. <laughs> yeah, well, that'd be awake. <laughs> it's a ghost. <laughs> Did y'all see that shutter close by itself? This is why I started the YouTube channel. It's a couple of mountains. Debunk that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so there you go buddy there's your advice there's yeah. my viral video and there's man. my no, viral no. video i don't think there's any i'm just glad you got it i'm out. just glad you got it off your chest or off your lap or whatever you got uh, don't, right. don't tell your dad about it yeah please yeah, don't do that love. especially this far afterwards yeah. <laughs> yeah. hey dad you remember about six months ago we was taking a trip i came everywhere well i, I tell you <laughs> I tell you what would have been worse is if he'd have woke up and looked over and his dad would have been looking at him just smiling. Oh. No, going. Yeah, right. Oh. Oh. Just like this, shaking his hand going, son, that took forever. Oh. We missed our exit. <laughs> we missed our exit. <laughs> oh, how funny. You need anything for Bucky's? I got to run in. <laughs> right. Can you turn my blinker on, guys? Oh, oh, shit. I've not done that since I was younger. Oh. Jesus. Oh, Pete's like, God. oh, my God. Oh. Hopefully so, his dad sees the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So our advice is to just make sure from here on out you take a packet of wet wipes with you everywhere mm. you go. Mm. Do we have uh, Do we have one more? Yeah, we got two more, I think. Okay. I got a question. Imagine you're sleeping in between your mom and dad. You're two inches in your mom, and your dad is two inches in you. Which way are you moving? This was John's dream. Sounds <laughs> 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 like the same dude, the same guy. <laughs> You've done this. We've you've done this as a uh, one of your. I've not done this. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know who heard that story, but I've not done this. I was not that close to. Me. Would you? You did that as a would you rather one time, didn't you? Yeah. I don't know if we did it on air, but we I for sure tossed it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tough one, Stephen. Which way are you moving? <laughs> What's that? Which way are you moving? You're two inches in your mom. Your dad's two oh inches. Oh my god. Oh my. God. You gotta move one way or the man. other. You got. That's, I can't even wrap my brain around that. We're, We're not asking process. you to wrap your brain He's, around it. Uh, two inches from your mom, two inches no. from her. It sounds like you're two, That's what it sounds like. Two, uh, two inches in your mom, or two inches said. in your dad. You're already tethered, it sounds like. What the hell's happening? <laughs> oh, my God. That's horrible. It sounds like incest is happening. That's yeah. what's going on. Burn the house down. Oh, my God. God. Get out. <laughs> Well, we got we got a lot. I tell you, yeah, we got <laughs> yeah, some. Yeah. My advice is go to church. Yeah, yeah. say Jesus. There you Whoa. go. You Praise. got one more, Eric. Oh, yeah, man. wash your I close sheets. my eyes and hope Give us I woke up on a road on trip. <laughs> like <everyone's down. laughs> hey, so I need some advice. I've been talking to this girl for like five years now, and we went to uh, high school in Idaho. We've been talking for so long. I'm like twenty twenty years old now. And we've been fucking for like, I'd say five years, every two weeks. And then probably like a couple months ago, I saw her at my family reunion. Like, I just need to know, do I like continue with like my daily and like every two weeks I fuck her and then leave her alone? Or do I just, you know, leave her alone and never talk to her again? But... She might be my cousin. She might just be a friend of somebody in the family. I don't know. Oh, Help me out, please. Pete, we Pete got we're going here. We're gonna throw this to you, Bro. Pete. I'd rather be the guy in the truck with the oyster on his pants. <laughs> 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 <It's the> oyster. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I think I guess uh I guess keep going. Forget about it. I don't know. What do you do? You're a, a sick motherfucker. Yeah. I know. <laughs> hey, hold on Deals now. We are, well, we that's are, my advice to him. I, we are in Alabama. 
Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. all these calls have to do with like incest or family. It's really painted yeah. Alabama well, in the exact oh, way it's I'm kinda, the picture. It's the last, I kind of hope y'all got all of them out on this episode. Uh, <laughs> the last two calls are from Canada, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the area called? <laughs> T-O-R. It's very diverse. <laughs> oh, T-O-R. <laughs> yes, wow, that's weird. Uh, we love those. Though. I mean, if right. you're worried about it, get a DNA test. Or do your ancestry. Or just ask <laughs> yeah. her who you related to. In between yeah, punks. Say, what were you, you doing? <laughs> That's yeah, a weird. What were you doing there? Yeah, wait till you're mid sex, though, and yeah. just kind of ease into it. Go, does her, by the way, does her butt look like his butt? Like maybe his, <laughs> his features the same? <laughs> butt <laughs> butt twins. Like <laughs> butt twins. I love that. Same was, doubles. Can you show us easing into it a little yeah, bit? Yeah, just more? like, you know, you're, you're, uh, <laughs> you're throwing down your arm up and, and be like, by the way, I just had something to bring up to you. It's probably nothing, you know. Hey, <laughs> is I this doing? your dong whooping? <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> this is me begging my cousin, everybody. <laughs> oh, no. uh, what were you doing there? Are you related to somebody? Should we not be doing this, or should we be keeping this on the DL? Or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Straight up ass is. Ask that you know you know I got to find out. Yeah, yeah you got to ask. Weird. You got to ask. But they're from Idaho. Well, long as it's not a first else. cousin, you know. It's oh, is that the rule? Second, second cousin. Hey, <laughs> what is the rule? Is, is that the rule? <laughs> Stephen King has entered the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen King's got a two-page rule book, by the way. A two Eighteen and second cousins, all he needs. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my oh, I god! I do have a story, something like that, though. Pete, what? tell us where everybody can go to find you on social what a media. Cliffhanger, man! I'm on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Yep. Oh, let's 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 share the nostalgia, man. Let's uh I love it. Let's let's <laughs> Yeah, man. I love did you that. Take stuff. a weed gummy? What happened? I did. Hey, dude. I <laughs> Again, did. by the I way, did. this is the second time this has happened. Bro. Go up top and click follow back. Jesus Christ, how many times are yeah. we going to guess it here? We're not Yeah, we're not back. even following them. <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> jerks we are. <laughs> follow oh, back. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I'm you. Old. Hey, Terry, by the way, you're fucking fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a glaring list. I see when it's up there. I go, yeah. by the way, y'all can follow them if you want to. We're not going <laughs> to. <laughs> Yeah. So it's it's totally well, 80s room. Well, we wanted room. to see how yeah. the episode went. It's, yeah, yeah. It's totally 80s room wherever you find your social medias, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, yep. after the way he acted at the Steel Panther concert, Dude. we decided we weren't going to follow him. <laughs> yeah, that was where that was where, that was where you unfollowed. Yeah, that's fine. I'm cool. That was under, that's under, us here. That's understandable. <laughs> We've I was actually at, blocked you. I, yeah. <laughs> Scott on tape, tell everybody where to find you. Pete's bedroom. There you go. <laughs> He's so I'm in the totally 80s room bedroom. Yeah. But I've got, there. well, no, I've got that footage. I have that underwater toilet camera that points yep. up. <laughs> yeah, I do have that. It's footage. like a bidet, but it takes pictures. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Scott on tape. All right. Stephen King, what about you? Midwest Flesh, Urbex, YouTube. Just YouTube? Yeah. Charlie, okay. where can they find you? Oh, <laughs> you, can find him. Podcast. you can find him at the Soak House once a week getting a massage. Damn right. <laughs> I'm excited I'm going to get a cupping massage soon. You can find him next week in our diversity training class. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are dicks. Yeah, uh, uh, big dog. And if, you have, <laughs> oh, yeah. if you're watching hey, this and you, and you have any 80s uh, toys still around, but leave it in the comments. Let us know oh, what, yeah. Yeah. what 80s and, toys you have. We'd love to see it. I might want yeah. to buy them. Uh, yeah. yeah, by the way, we have a degenerate yeah. in here that yeah, will buy I'll all of it. Yes. <laughs> I'm interested. I am interested. We can make a deal. I can, I can see his family right now going. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they know. Yeah, they put up with it. They tolerate it. Well, and by the way, thank you for leaving us those gifts, man. Yeah. Sweet yeah. Sweet yeah. You, man. I appreciate okay, y'all leaving that for the studio. We'll put them all in that corner over there. <laughs> we call it Steven's Corner over there. Yeah. My grandmother's going to love those legs. Yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> Dave's going to have We're going to give those swatch watch on with the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, y'all look at it, and I'm retiring these again for another 20 years. Uh, actually, I think you should burn I them. Think it, <laughs> y'all shut up. These are great. There is a there is an oyster stain. There's an oyster spot. On there. <laughs> I just leave me and my dad's st- <laughs> road trips out of there. Oh, <laughs> Well, thank y'all for coming in, man. What a great episode. It flew by, dude. I can't believe we've already done it over an hour. That's crazy. Wow. Yep. Well, let's wrap this bitch up then. Thank y'all for coming and watching <laughs> us today. <laughs> I'm starving to death again. There's no chef here cooking for us today, so I'm out of here. We'll see y'all next week. We'll see you. <laughs> All right. Peace.